Hi brothers and sisters, just wanted to record a short video to show you how to use the new iCloud uh, Meetings app. So on your iPhone you're going to go to the App Store and we want to search for Zoom Cloud Meetings. And this is the one we want, so we're going to go ahead and install that. And once it's installed, we're going to open it. And we need to change a few settings. So we're going to touch that little gear icon in the top right corner. And then go into Meetings. And touch that first option, Auto Connect to Audio. And you're going to want to change it to Use Internet. Or else it will prompt you every time. You're going to want to turn on those first two options to always mute your microphone and always turn off your video or else it's automatically going to have those on when you connect to the meeting, which obviously could be a problem. You're going to want to turn off, always show video preview. And then finally, you're probably going to want to always have the meeting controls on the screen. So where it says always show meeting controls, you're going to want to turn that on. Okay, so that's all we need to, to change in the app. So we're going to go out of the app and now we're going to get on the internet and we're going to go to meeting.live our normal uh, place make sure of course shortlist is selected we're going to put in the meeting code and we are going to do what we normally do put our name our group overseer and the number of listeners and hit continue so now instead of uh, seeing our normal meeting you're going to see this new green link that says click to join the Zoom video meeting. So I'll go ahead and touch that. And that will go ahead and ask you what your name is. Now this is important because this is what the conductor and others are going to see when you're connected to know it's you. So put your full name in, not just your first name, because there might be more than one mark, which there is in our case. And hit continue. So you're going to want to answer OK to Zoom would like to access access the microphone or else you won't be able to comment and then decide whether or not you want to allow notifications so now we are connected to the meeting so now at this point you'll notice down in the bottom left there is an unmute and a start video button so now if you want to comment you need to touch that unmute button so now you're unmuted and others can hear you and when you're done commenting you can touch that and now you're muted if you want others to see you during the meeting you're going to hit that start video button and it'll ask you if it's okay to access the camera to which you'll have to answer okay if you want others to see you and if you want to stop that you touch stop video down below so now if you want to comment during the meeting the way you do that is you touch that the three dots and where it says more on the bottom right side you touch that and you raise your hand and when you do that the conductor is going to see a little green hand come up and he'll know that you want to make a comment so when he says uh, brother Langdon would you like to comment you unmute yourself you make your comment and when you're done you mute yourself again now let's say somebody takes your comment while you're talking or while while the meeting's going on. Well, let's say you want to put your hand down. Well, now you go and you touch the three dots again where it says more and you lower your hand. And now your hand goes down. So that's really all there is to it. Obviously, you can turn your phone sideways uh, and get a landscape view of the meeting. I'm not going to do that now. Uh, but that's the basics of how you use this on an iPhone. And I hope you enjoy the meeting and we'll see you soon. Bye.